I went to the pool for the adult swim, and I embarrassed myself. I'm Michelle Clyde from Springville, Utah, and let's talk about that. Good Mythical Morning. Today's episode is brought to you by Catula's. The guys with the goods. Including the turbo spoke. Attach this to your bike in five minutes or less. No batteries needed. And it sounds like a motorcycle. I think I'm going to attach this to my mountain bike. Or yourself. I thought you were going to say to my person. You know, I got my mountain bike from the, the Craigslist. Yeah. And I, I tested it out. And you you hope that when you buy a new bike or something like that that it's going to it's going to take your skills up like it's going to square them or something but i realized it didn't make me a better mountain biker it just i think if anything it only just made me more committed to keep trying or accentuated because i spent money your lack of mountain biking skills but you know i i may have a future in it professional mountain biker yeah that might be my thing you should see me sometime I just take you out there and you can like film me and we can make epic mountain biking videos. Me Ma almost killing myself on treacherous ups and downs. Do you think you could carry me on one of those child seats that fits on the back? I have one of those. Because if you put me in one of those, my feet would still hit the ground. You'd put your feet I could, like, on balance the ha you. handlebars. That would be a little awkward. Yeah, it would be. I take that back. It's never going to happen, people. Don't get your hopes up. Well, I'm glad you're talking about your uh, exploits in mountain biking because I'm going to talk a little bit about something kind of similar fitness related swimming i know you're going to talk about swimming yeah which when i think about mountain biking i almost only always just skip to thinking about swimming it's, yeah because yeah, they're related yeah well they're both activities okay you know yep yep okay uh my back you know if you've heard me talk about this before my back is bad i have back issues i have recurrent yep. chronic back issues you have back rot I hope not. Well, see, I'm putting it in perspective. Is there like a boil back there? It could be. It could be worse. You, yeah, it's, it's starting to smell. I have got it. I don't you're have. You're gonna have to cut all that rotten flesh out. I don't have. Oh, that's gangrene gross. of the back. No, that's not what I have. I just have. What do you have? I don't know. I wish I knew. I just have. But don't you feel better about it now that I told you about the gross stuff? Yeah, at least I don't have gangrene of the back, and now my life is suddenly better. I have a lot of back issues, muscular, skele skeletor, I want to say. I have skeletor. skeletor issues of the back. My back talks like skeletor. Skeletal issues of the back. And so, but I also like to try to be kind of, well, no. Listen, I would like to be in shape. Haven't been since high school, okay? Okay. I haven't done anything active on a consistent basis since I like played basketball in high school. But I flirt with it. You know, we've talked about how I flirted with hot yoga. And then we moved from that area of town, and I'm no longer next to a hot yoga studio. I've, I've moved on. I don't, and by flirting with it, you mean like, hey, baby, you look like exercise. Well, or you look hot would be a, good, What's up? a real good joke there. What's up? No, I'm not. It's, it's, you're flirting with exercise itself or fitness? F fitness of all kinds. Hey, concept of fitness, you look hot. Well, no, the yoga would be hot. That was a hot yoga. That was I was really trying to throw you a softball there. Oh, I'm afraid of softballs. My uh, my stepsister hit me in the face with a softball. Once. Really? Yeah, I pitched it to her and she slammed right well, back in my face. Well, at least it wasn't a baseball, a, hard, a hard ball. They well, they're bigger. This. It's even worse. So I try occasionally to think. Mm, well, maybe I'm going to run a little bit. And what happens when you know we've got the park out here and you can mm -hmm. kind of run around the park. I do that for two or three days, and then my back hurts and my knees hurt because I'm I'm a giant, you know, and I've got back problems, I've got knee issues, I'm just getting old, I'm decrepit, I've got back gangrene, as we've all already established. Mm -hmm. But I was watching the U.S. Uh, Olympic trials, and they were swimming, and I was like... That's one of the events, right? Swimming. Is this news to you? No, I no, it hit me. Okay. Swimming, and you know what? And we've begun, we've begun taking our kids to the... To the public pool out here. It's, it's right out there. And I you could like, jump off your roof and maybe land in the pool. I no, I couldn't. I couldn't make it. I'm not a good jumper. I'm also not Superman. It's like 200 yards. But I have heard that swimming is good for people who have bad backs. Right, because you only carry like 10% of your weight or something. It's like walking on the moon when you go into the pool. In if fact, it, that's how astronauts practice moonwalks is in a pool. There's no water on the moon. In, in a Speedo. And so I'm like, well, I'm going to go... And do, let me see how early they open, and then I'm going to go tomorrow morning and just swim some laps, you know, for some exercise. That'll be easy. Yeah. But I'm like, you know what? I don't have goggles. 
And I got a, and I got really sensitive eyes. So I'm like, well, I got to go get some goggles. So I go down to the, the sports authority down the road. And uh, I go to the goggles section. I, I grab just, you know, the cheapest, like, Speedo goggles that they've got. There's a lot of children yelling outside the door. Do they want to get in? They love your story. I don't know if you can hear them, but they're cheering. And um, Some kind of a camp. Some sort of on. game over there in the pool, actually, probably. Yeah. And so I, I grab the goggles, and then as I'm about to walk out, I look over and I notice the swim trunks. The swimming trunks. Oh, no. No, you didn't. Tight, tight swim trunks. Speedo. And it hits me. I'm like, do I need those? Can I? Do, am I just going to go swim laps in board shorts? Or am I going to go and go all out? Am I going to get a Speedo and go over there? So I'm like, well, let me just look at them. Put your fears at rest because I did not purchase a, a tight-fitting okay. swimming suit. But you looked at them. I looked at them. They cost $50. The cheapest one is $50. $50 to put some boxer briefs on. Now, now they're not just like bikini. They do have bikini briefs, but now they're, for the guys at least, they go, they're like, you've seen Michael Phelps swim. They go like down to half like your, your, your knees. Okay. Almost. I, I, anyway. $50, that's kind of steep. So I just kept my board shorts. This morning I wake up, I go over there at 7 a.m. I go to the pool, and of course, we, as we've established, there's a lot of people in Los Angeles. I'm thinking, no one else is gonna be swimming at 7 a.m. What are they, a bunch of freaks? Yes. Yeah, so many people already swimming that I have to share a lane with an old man. I actually looked and I was like, well, there's there's three people in this lane. How do you share a lane? You swim in this big circle and you crawl, you pass by each other repeatedly. There's all these, young people who are kind of tearing it up in the water. I'm like, well, I'm not getting in that lane. But there's a man with white hair who looks like he's about to die in the water. Mm -hmm. I'm going to get in his lane because, you know, I feel better about myself. I can keep up. We, we can sort of be on the same pace because I've never done this before. I haven't okay. really done competitive or and maybe you fitness swimming in a, well, quite some time. Maybe you could save his life if, if uh, you know if he started to have problems. So I, I get down and I jump into the water and I kind of see him and kind of like, you know, I'm giving him the obligatory, I'm in your lane, here I come, watch out. I'm doing out. this on purpose, we will, we'll... Get my goggles on, I got my board charts on. He's got on a Speedo, mm. of course. Old man in a Speedo. $50. And uh, I start swimming and I, 50 meter pool, this is official length pool. Uh, you know, I go down the first 50 meters, I'm like, get to the end, I'm like, that was more difficult than I anticipated. But you know, oh yeah, turn. It's because you're wearing parachutes for shorts. Well, you needed a speedo. It's it's more than that. I turn around and I come back down. I get halfway. <laughs> so I've gone 75 meters. I get halfway and it hits me. I'm like, I don't know if I can make it to the other side. You were getting winded? Oh, I, I was. And so I'm like, well, I, I'm not, I can't stop in the middle of the pool. There's lifeguard watching. There's, I'm mean, gonna, this is my reputation's on the line. I gotta make it to 100 meters. Yeah. So I make it 100 meters and then I'm like, all right, let me take a break. I stop and I'm like, and you passed the dude twice, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So far, we just sort of, we, we passed. It, it, mm -hmm. I'll get to what happens later. So then I'm like, okay, well, all right. Um, that was more difficult than I anticipated. And I kind of sit there and I'm like, whoa, this really takes it out of you, you know? You got out of the pool and just No, kinda... no, no, no. I'm just standing up at the end. I've got my, like, you know, like the Olympic swimmers do. You know, they kind of put their arm up on the yeah, smoke a cigarette. thing and hug the other person. I didn't do that. I just sort uh -huh. of sat there and like, okay, well, here we go. Let's do this again. This time. <laughs> you didn't hug anybody. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, it's all, all I made it 100 yards. <laughs> it's meters. Who by are the way. you? It's oh. meters. <laughs> okay. Yeah, they it's, changed that in like 1954. That's even shorter. So, Okay, so now I'm going, I'm like, all right, lap lap two. Oh, so gosh. now I take off and I'm like, man, this, mm. I get halfway down, I'm like, this is harder than I thought it would be. And I'm still mm. going though, I'm not gonna stop in the middle of the pool. Mm -mm. And then I pass him one more time and I'm like, he's further along. Well, you didn't time. pass him, you met him. I met him, but he was closer to me than I anticipated. Mm. And so then I come back and I'm coming back the other way and I make it about 25, I make it about 20 yards, almost halfway. And I'm like, I've got to switch to breaststroke. Oh. I've got to go to breaststroke because I might sink. I think I might sink. <laughs> and so I started going to breaststroke. Next thing I know, there was an elderly man passing me. Oh, no. Doing freestyle. And he like gives me a look under the, with the goggles, you know? It's like, in his little speedo, just passing me. That man continued and to swim at the same pace, just freestyle, just. 
He was swimming when I got there. And let me tell you, he was swimming when I left, too. Oh, wow. <laughs> I did breaststroke for another couple of laps. And then I was like, oh, maybe I should just be easing into this. Mm. And maybe I should get a Speedo. Or maybe you should just never go back. Oh, I'm going back. Because, listen, here's what hit You're going to get a Speedo and go back? Well, no, this is what hit me. This is, this is serious. If you and I, you know those stories about two men, two men's boat capsizes in the Gulf of Mexico and they tread water for two days. Listen, if we were out in the Gulf of Mexico and our boat turned over, we they wouldn't find us. There wouldn't be some great story about we swam 10 miles to shore. Like, two men found dead floating next to capsized boat in the Gulf of Mexico. Because listen, I'm not a good swimmer. Well, I actually, I am a good swimmer, but I can only go so far and I get winded. I know I could outswim you. Could you, the two of us out there? And that's we, supposed to make you feel good? No, it makes me feel scared because. Yeah, well, we need to take the old gray haired man with us. You know how we go in the Gulf? How often we go, we go boating in the Gulf? Yeah, I know. At least I've always thought we should do that. You need to make friends with that guy. I, and I'm worried. I'm worried about our safety. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to get a Speedo. And I'm going to get good at this. No pictures, please. And I'm gonna I'm gonna learn how to, to to fitness swim, and then at least I'll survive, and I'll be able to say, you know, Link, he fought bravely. He he died about seven minutes in. I'm glad that after you're, we catch you're thinking this is an application for me. You're trying to get me to wear a speedo. Well, you, can, you can you can like you know what you can grab onto my neck, and, and I'll swim through the Gulf with you on my back. All right, let's end this episode on a positive note. It says right here, we are to strike gold. So we're. Let's let's be two guys who are pan, panhandling for gold. I think you pan. You don't panhandle for gold. <laughs> excuse, me, excuse me, sir. Do you have any gold? Oh man, look at this. Look at this. I got all these rocks in here. I've been doing this for years. What do you? Hey, 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 hey. What do you think that is? Um, pyrite. It's not gold. It's fool's gold. Oh no, it's soft. It's I think this it, it's soft, huh? It's, I, see, it's I soft, think, you see. I think this is real gold. Oh, it's not real gold, this huh? It's real gold. And it's mine. Let's go get Dick Tracy and give it to him. Yeah. <laughs> gold!